Hey, it's Michael Kaplan from the New York Post. I had a great story in the paper about Americans who are doing the right thing, going to Israel and helping out. They're volunteering to help the Israelis. These guys and gals are basically giving up their lives in America for weeks or months at a time to go help out in Israel, to help people who really need it. I mean, there was one gentleman, he's a lawyer in New York, and he also works as a volunteer fireman in Great Neck, and he volunteered. He was working with firefighters in Israel. I mean, he said he did it because what was going on there took him, quote unquote, to a dark place. And he wanted to do something hands-on to really help. And he did. He was there putting out fires which were set by rockets falling through the sky, set off by Hamas. And it was amazing. There was a former Wall Street guy who made lots of dough on Wall Street and was now kind of doing his own, you know, investing for himself. And he had a place in Israel. And he was in synagogue when the attack happened. And the first thing he wanted to do was figure out what he could do. He wasn't going to leave. He wasn't going to sit around and do nothing. And he liked to cook. That day, he was like, you know, out of place, like barbecuing hundreds of hamburgers for soldiers. And he got more and more into it and basically turned his apartment into a cooking spot where they would make, you know, full meals for hundreds of soldiers every day. Pretty amazing. There were these girls that were going to the seminary. They were on their gap year. And again, the bombs fell and other people, you know, let they left Israel. They packed up and left. And these kids, they stayed. They wanted to know what they could do. They wound up babysitting. They put on a carnival for kids whose fathers were off doing stuff for the military. They cooked. They baked hollas to give out. I mean, these were amazing girls. I mean, they almost brought tears to my eyes hearing their stories. And then this was like amazing. There were these quote unquote Christian cowboys. They're big boosters of Israel. And they came that they gave up their life on the farm in Montana to go out and help Israeli farmers. They were picking peppers. They built a fence around a zucchini farm to keep their wild boars that I guess were getting in there and eating the zucchini. And there's a doctor with a really ritzy practice in Miami. He gave that up temporarily, obviously, but you know, he had combat experience and he went there and was like a doctor on the front lines of war. I mean, it, it was unbelievable. And if the military's medical group, if they needed something, he got it. He got it shipped from Miami, paid for it out of his own pocket, raised some money from friends, and, you know, did everything he could possibly do. So there was one guy who was a photographer. He had a thing called the Smile Project. He was obsessed with, like, taking photos of Israeli soldiers and just making them smile and getting them out of their negative headspace for a minute. And then there was a guy in Riverdale. He's part of an Orthodox community, and they raised money to buy a bunch of toys for kids who, like, lost their homes during these attacks. He was like a Jewish Santa Claus. He shows up with duffel bags. I think he had 50-some-odd duffel bags loaded up with toys, and they got distributed to the kids. It really makes you, you know, feel good about being American and being Jewish and seeing what other people can do to help out.